to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. It has been a hot minute um, since I have filmed a tutorial. I'm not kidding you. I don't think I've filmed a tutorial in honestly like a month, which is crazy. I'm so happy to be back and get into the swing of things. Now, if you guys can tell, um, I'm not in my usual setup. I am in my brand new home, which is so exciting. And this is kind of one of the main reasons why I've been so absent is because I've been moving and super busy with work and that kind of stuff. But I'm back. I'm so ready to dive back into making videos. I have so many incredible videos coming up and yeah, I just want to be super glam. So um, now I haven't dyed my hair um, for anyone who was on I just want to do like a super glam transformation just with as I was saying before with like moving and unpacking and and just a bunch of everything I feel like I've just looked like a wet dog for like far too long I feel like I haven't been properly glammed in a while and I'm also really really ill at the moment so instead of sitting and feeling sorry for myself I'm gonna make myself look like a 10 out of 10 See, so yeah, I was watching an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians the other day when I was down at my parents' house. So this is kind of a little bit Kourtney Kardashian inspired, but basically um, she was super tan and bronzy, like her body, and she obviously has black hair, and it was parted um, in the middle and then put back into like a really beautiful low bun. Um, and she had like an like a ready orange kind of lip and just like really glam skin. So it's kind of what I want to do today. So this is kind of a Kourtney Kardashian transformation video come like I just need to stop looking like a foot and just want to look glam myself. Um, so yeah. Yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay guys, so I am not naked, I promise. It is just so, so hot, um, which I am so not complaining about. So now I've just like kind of pulled my top down um, into a boob tube. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start with my base today. And to prep my skin, of course, I'm going in with my Mario Badescu facial spray. This is a cucumber one. So I'm just going to spritz this all over my skin. And now I have spray painted my hair black. So, so I'm going to try and avoid like my hairline area. We'll see. Oh best feeling ever and you guys know look I talk about this product on my channel all the time guys so as you can see it's a Mario Badescu facial spray and it's such an incredible way to hydrate your skin it's full of such good ingredients and especially now that summer's coming up you of course want to make sure that you have hydrated skin but something that I love doing is actually popping this in the fridge and when you wake up in the morning getting it out of the fridge and just spritzing it over your skin or even on a Sunday morning if you're a little bit hungover this is like pure gold being sprayed all over your face. So give it a go, pop it in the fridge. But I always, always recommend this product. I think it is so well worth investing in. So I just buy these from Mecca. This little mini one here is literally $9 and they do larger ones for $18. So such a good investment. Anyways, moving on. And so now moving on to primer. This is something that I'm pretty excited about. I've actually found a new favorite primer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. Amazing if you have oily skin, but I've also been obsessed with using this on my clients who obviously have an array of different skin tones. And I've even used this on dry skin, not severely dry skin, but reasonably dry skin. And they said that the foundation sat really, really well. So that's always good to know. Okay, and something else that I'm also super, super excited about is I actually have like a favorite new base routine. So not only do I have a new favorite primer, but the way I actually apply my base and my whole base routine has changed, which is super exciting because I'm such, such a creature of habit. So I'm going to show you guys that today. So I'm going to start off with my Napoleon Purtis G18 foundation brush, which just looks like this. And picking up that primer, I'm just going to use this brush just to paint this primer all over my face. Now this is new to me because I've always, always been someone that likes to apply primer with their hands. But I find by really, really taking time to properly put primer over your skin, just ensures that your foundation will sit really, really beautifully over the top. So it's almost as if I pretend that I'm actually painting foundation on my skin. I just want to make sure that this primer is really perfectly painted right the way over my skin. Now moving on to foundation, I'm going to take one of my all-time favourites. This is my NARS Sheer Glow in the colour Syracuse. Give that a really good shake. And I'm going to use that same foundation brush to paint this foundation right the way over my skin. And this is legitimately how I used to apply my foundation like when I was in high school with like a flat traditional old school foundation brush like this. But just the way that the foundation glides over the skin just amazing and I am going to drag this right the way down the neck today because I'm going full glam so I am going to do a little bit of body makeup out at the end don't forget the ears and I'm just going to be careful 
to try and not get too much foundation into my hairline where we've painted the hair. So I literally just use that brush to paint that right the way over my skin and that is all I do. I don't press it in with a beauty blender, nothing. I literally just paint it and the way that the NARS Sheer Glow just sits on top of the primer and just the application technique, I don't know, I'm obsessed. So anyways, now moving on to cream contour, I'm going to take the same brush. I've mixed my cream contour on the back of my hand, which is always my Napoleon Purtis Foundation Stick in 6B, mixed it with a little bit of leftover foundation that I have on the back of my hand. Now again, I'm going to be super careful with applying this around uh, my hairline just because my hair is painted. So just picking this up on the same foundation brush. So just dotting that just around my hairline. And then I'm actually going to start using this brush to really blend that cream contour back into my hairline. Obviously just being really delicate and really careful. I'm almost just doing like soft stippling motions. So right now I'm not too worried about blending out the edge of the cream contour into my foundation. I'm more worried about just blending the edges back into my hairline. And now taking my beauty blender, I'm just going to softly run over the edges of that cream contour where it meets my foundation. And now I'm just going to repeat the exact same process for the rest of my face. And now lately I've actually um, opted out for contouring my jaw. Oh, sorry, cream contouring my jaw, I should say. Because I've been more preferring just to do it with powders. But because I've been so busy and moving and everything, I've just been eating like an absolute pig and just feel like I look like a balloon. So I literally need all of the help I can get. And cream contouring will always give you a stronger contour if you layer it over the top with a powder contour anyway, which is what we want. I mean, and we're doing a Kardashian-inspired look, so of course I need to be glam. And something that I'm not sure if I've actually shared before, but if you're cream contouring your jaw and you want a really, really seamless blend, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to do this on camera, but it's actually just to give yourself a double chin, give myself, like, let's get real, I already have one, but very much accentuate your double chin so your chin literally connects with your neck. Oh my God. This is the real me, guys. But anyways, just so you can make sure that you have a nice seamless blend. Although I don't mind if the jaw contour is reasonably harsh. Wouldn't mind looking a little bit plastic. And of course, would it be an Emily Walkier tutorial if I didn't contour my lips? So just using the same brush, it's actually pretty easy. I always say that there's a silver lining to everything. Like you always got to look on the bright side of things and like be positive. And I have been so sick lately and my lips have just been so swollen and so big. So <laughs> silver lining. Okay. Now, cause we are doing a statement lip today. I want my lips to look really nice and big. So I've kind of like 60% blended away that lip contour. So moving on to concealer, I'm going to take my absolute favorite Tarte Tape Shape. This is in light medium honey. And now my new favorite way to do my concealer routine. Like this is a whole brand new base routine for me, which I'm so excited about. So the way that I like to do my concealer is I just decanter a little bit onto the back of my wrist. And on my foundation brush, we're just going to take this right the way underneath the eye. And then I'm going to take this right down the side of my nose. Always like to take the concealer over the eyelid just as a primer for my eyeshadow. Okay, so that's the only place that I like to take my concealer. And now back in with my Beauty Blender. We're just going to press that in. And then I have a little bit of concealer left over. I'm just going to take this just predominantly over where my heinous eye bags are. And I'm just going to repress this concealer in. 
Okay guys, so I do apologize. My camera just mad overheated, so I had to turn it off um, for like a good 15 minutes. So I just went ahead and set my face. So I'm really sorry about that guys. But the technique for setting my face has absolutely not changed. I still go in with my damp beauty blender. Today I went in with my Cody Airspun and I just really, really pressed that powder into my skin. And then I just take a smaller fluffy brush, just pick up that powder and then just dust that down the rest of my chest and my decolletage area. Just anywhere where we put foundation on the body, always want to set it. And now moving on to bronzer, I'm going to take that same fluffy brush. This one unfortunately doesn't have a name or a number, but it's just like a fluffy brush from Napoleon Purtis. Doesn't matter what brush you use. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with my new all-time favorite. You guys know this. This is my Mecca Max Sunlit Skin Bronzer in Medium. And I'm basically just going to dust this right the way over my face. Now going in with my Betty Luminizer by The Balm, which is just a beautiful but really shimmery bronzer. And I'm going to lay this basically over the same place where we put my initial bronzer. This is just going to make the skin look extra glowy and bronzy. And I know for sure that this is a trick that the Kardashian makeup artists use, taking a glowy bronzer just to add some nice glow to the skin. And last step to my base today, we're going to reinforce all the cream contours with the powder contour. And of course, we're going to take my Hula Benefit. Quickest diet on the planet is contouring. <laughs> Can you guys see how beautiful and healthy the Betty Luminizer makes the skin look? Like, so bronzy and healthy. Oh. Okay, that's enough then. Oh. Thank the Lord, I'm starting to look relatively human. Okay, so now that I've finished my base, I may as well go in with my body glam. So I'm just going to go back in with my Betty Luminizer by The Balm, which is that beautiful shimmery bronzer. And basically, I'm just going to pop this all over my collarbones, chest, shoulders, just my whole kind of decolletage area. Now, normally, if I wanted to be crazy, crazy extra and fully glam, I will paint my whole body with foundation. But I have a reasonably fresh tan on. So my skin's already looking quite nice. So yeah, I don't necessarily need body coverage. I'm just kind of going for a body glow up. And now, if you guys watch my October favorites, you'll know that I live for this product. This is my brand new favorite kind of body glam product. And this is the Astralis Metallics Cream Eyeshadow. I have a couple of like the really beautiful golden ones, but I'm just going to take the Gold Gaga. Yep, just with my finger. And don't forget the high points of your shoulders. And then I'm actually going to set that down because it is a cream product. So I definitely do want to set that down. But normally I always set it with a highlighter. Today I'm just going to set it with my shimmery bronzer. Oh, can you guys see that? Like I die. Okay guys, body glam or body glow, I should say, is done. So now I'm going to super quickly hop off camera, pop some brows on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have some brows. I went in with my all-time favorite brow pencil, and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. And as always, I'm so old school, to set my brows down, I just went in with a little bit of hairspray and a disposable mascara wand. Okay, and so for eyeshadows today, I'm going to take my Z palette and just the top row here um, are all my Anastasia eyeshadows. And they're basically what I'm going to be working on today. I'm not going to really do anything special to the eyes. I'm going to start off with a mix of custard and orange soda, just on a nice fluffy brush. And this is going to be our transition shade today. And I'm just going to pop this through the socket. If this was a really, really kind of in-depth eye tutorial, i definitely zoom you guys in, but I promise you guys, this is so easy. You can do this with any eyeshadows that you have. I'm literally just basically going to mix like all of these together. Let's get real. I'm going to mix Birkin and Burnt Orange Matte. And start working that through the socket. This is going to give us a little bit of warmth. Back and forth through the socket. And I'm also going to take that eyeshadow a little bit down into like the corner of my nose just to really accentuate a nose contour. You guys know me, I'm not one for perfect eyeshadow at all. Just going to really just messily chuck this through the socket. And now picking up caramel, which is definitely going to give us some warmth. But it's also going to give us a little bit of depth. Yeah, we're getting somewhere guys. And now picking up a tiny bit of fawn, 
which is like a beautiful medium brown. Just going to pop that through the socket. This is really going to start to give us some depth. Now taking that same fluffy brush, I'm literally just going to drag a mixture of all of those eyeshadows and just really messily smoke it out underneath my eye. And if you like me and you're a massive wimp, you can totally close your eyes to do this step. When I was down in Melbourne just recently, actually, um, I went out with a bunch of my friends um, on a Sunday. We had like a beautiful, nice Sunday. And I wore very, very similar makeup to what I'm wearing now. But it's just so funny that how different makeup can look when you have different colored hair. Which, by the way, guys, elephant in the room, what do you guys think of the black hair? Do you think I rock it or do you guys prefer me as a blonde? For me, I just love, love, love having the ability to completely transform my look and not look anything like myself. I just love that. So, so anyways, I think that's basically it um, as far as the eyeshadows go for now. I'm going to move on to a wing liner now. I'm going to take my Napoleon Paris gel liner in black just with a really beautiful fine liner brush. My favorite is this beautiful tiny little one from Napoleon Paris. Of course, I'm so over liquid liner at the moment. I'm back on the gel liner bandwagon. And see, so yeah, I'm just going to really quickly jump off camera, do like a soft to medium wing, um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so that is my wing liner done. Gosh, I just love gel eyeliner so much. I have been like a gel eyeliner person since day dot. I only really started using liquid liner like about a year ago, literally. So yeah. Love gel liner. So now that the eyes are basically done, before we do the lashes, I just want to go in and do a couple of finishing touches. So I'm just going to take my tiny little sad um, eyeliner pencil. This is Brown Sugar uh, by Napoleon Purtis, which is just a brown eyeliner. And I'm just going to really finely pop a line to this just in my waterline. just finishes the eyes obsessed now oh, i've literally made it through this whole tutorial without having to get up and go to my glam room but i need a brush so brb okay i'm back now to finish off the eyes i'm going in with my urban decay naked palette and i'm going to take half baked which is this beautiful beautiful gold shade right here and i'm just going to pop this just through the brow bone guys it's literally magical obsessed Half Baked by Urban Decay um, is my all-time favorite gold eyeshadow in the world. But if you have a dark fake tan on like me, or you're just lucky enough to be blessed with a beautiful, naturally darker skin tone, instead of using a standard highlighter, I challenge you guys to try using an actual gold or bronze eyeshadow to highlight the brow bone. It's definitely untraditional because gold is obviously a little bit darker than like a traditional lighter brow bone highlight, but just give it a go and it will change your world, I promise. Okay, so golden brow bone highlight done. And I'm also just going to take this just on the inner corners as well. Which, again, you know, this is definitely still going to highlight my inner corners. Like, it is a shimmery gold. But I just like that it's a little bit different. Like, that's just instantly made my eyes look so green. I love. But it really goes with the kind of, like, golden bronzy complexion. I love. This eyeshadow is the bomb. Now, just quickly before we pop our lashes on, I'm just going in with some Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Just popping a little bit on my top because we are going in with falsies, so I'm not going to bother. But I definitely, definitely want really, really nice prominent bottom eyelashes. All right, so taking my favorite pair of lashes of all time. I made them, of course. The power of a lash, guys. Oh, obsessed. After I pop this lash on, I'll zoom in so you guys can have a really good look at the lashes. But the reason why I love these so much is because they're so messy, so uneven, so disheveled. And that's why I love them. I hate perfect looking lashes. Can you guys see them a little bit better? Obsessed, guys. Obsessed. Okay, guys, so now onto the star of the show, which is that beautiful red lip, which I'm just sharpening. So the red that I've chosen to use for this tutorial today is my very, very beloved MAC Lip Pencil in Red. Literally called red, spelled R-E-D-D. -D. 
it's definitely definitely more of like a warmer tone red i wouldn't call it an orange red it's reasonably a true red but but definitely like a lot more brighter so i'll see how it looks like with the glam and the tan and the hair and everything and if i think it's too red and i want it to be a little bit more orange then we can go and pop on up like an orange lipstick over the top three seconds into me drawing on my lips and i've already butchered it <sighs> oh yeah this is looking nice and bright and as you guys can see mac pencils just glide along the lips so nicely how on earth did I get lip liner on my chin? Yes, come through. Guys, how funny do I look with a red lip? Like, so, so not my style, but I'm feeling myself. What's new? Oh my God, you guys. Do I look like Kourtney Kardashian? Literally, not at all, but at least my makeup kind of looks like her. Okay guys, well I think that is officially my makeup transformation done. I definitely look a lot better now than I did at the start of the video. But no, I am obsessed with this makeup, obsessed with myself. I am just feeling it. Like I said at the start of the video, I've been feeling so crap lately. You know, I've been so ill, so it's so nice to be able to look into my camera lens and look super glam, even though I feel 0 out of 10. But anyways, I really, really hope you guys like this tutorial. I love doing like full transformation videos. You know, this is the real kind of makeup artist in me. I love transforming myself and just completely making myself not look like anything like I do. I know, I love it. See so, you yeah, guys, without further ado, this is... My first video back after a hiatus and I'm so happy with it. I really, really hope you guys like it. You guys will definitely have to let me know what you guys think. And even though it's a Kardashian inspired makeup, it really was quite easy. We didn't use a ton of different products, no crazy techniques. And I do think this is quite a nice polished makeup. I feel very classy, but I think maybe it's just the way that my hair is styled. But anyways, I'm going to stop blabbering. It is just so good to be back. I've missed you guys. I miss filming. I have some videos coming up that I'm super, super excited about. Tomorrow I'll be filming like an updated everyday makeup tutorial. I have like a new everyday glam that I'm obsessed with. So I can't wait to film that for you guys, for you to see. And yeah, I just have a bunch of new videos. I'm so inspired. I think as well because I'm settled, like I just can't wait to get back into the swing of things. So yeah, I am, for the fifth time, I'm going to say this, I'm going to stop blabbering. Um, I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you feeling the glam and the dark hair? Because I am. Um, I would love, love, love if you guys gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. And until my next video, I'll see all you guys soon. Take care, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.